So today I'm going to be showing guys how you can easily get Linux on your iOS device. This could be an iPad like I'm on an iPad right now, or it could be an iPhone. So let's get started. So to start out, you do need the latest iOS for this to work so the app can be compatible. We're not actually wiping any data. This is just going to be an app that you can launch on your iOS device that will have Linux. It will, it's going to I mean, it's going to work really well, and you won't have to worry about wiping your device or messing it up. So we just open up the App Store, and you're going to go over to Search, and you're going to search for, not right there, what am I doing? Search for ISH. You're going to search, right here, ISH Shell. You're just going to click the Install button, and it's not that big of an app. As you see, it's only 6 megabytes, and it's going to download straight away. And this is actually going to be Alpine Linux. So it's actually pretty cool. Let's search for ISH. Give it a second to launch as to load everything up. And right here we have, it says, Welcome to Alpine. We have full Linux, Alpine Linux on our, the full Alpine Linux terminal on our iPad. So let's just first update our system. So this uses the software manager name APK. So we're going to go APK update to update our system. And this actually is cool because you could use this for different projects. You can you can use Git, you can use Wigit, you can use everything in a normal Linux terminal right here. So I'll be showing some different cool softwares, even NailFetch, that you can get and have on your iPad. So it's just downloading the updates for me right now, and then we should be good. Alright, so this is just like a normal Linux terminal. After we update it, we're going to have to upgrade it. So we go APK, upgrade, so this will, after it grab the updates, now this will upgrade it, just like a normal Debian Ubuntu terminal. So if you're not fami familiar with Alpine, it's pretty simple. Now my system is done updating, so now let's try to install NeoFetch to see what it says about our system. So we go at APK, add, NeoFetch, you're going to hit return, and this will grab NeoFetch from the latest servers for us and we'll be able to use it just like a normal terminal. We tap NeoFetch, hit enter. Give it a second, and if I just minimize that, look at here, we have the Alpine Linux terminal. It knows our OS, it knows our kernel, it knows our shell and memory, but it doesn't know much about our system, which is understandable because it wouldn't know what kind of processor, how much RAM this thing has, because, well, it knows the RAM, it doesn't know the processor, which is okay. But this is only an i686 Linux, so it's not the full x64, which is understandable because this is iPads do run ARM chips. So what what some cool things is you can do from here, you can SSH into a device. So if your Pi was running, you could go SSH Pi at their IP address, like 192.168, and you can totally SSH into your Pi from here. So let's say you go on a trip, you can use your iPad to SSH into your Pi from anywhere. And you don't have to take your laptop, you can just take your nice tablet. So this terminal really opens up a lot of doors and possibilities that you can do with your Raspberry Pi. Plus having Linux on here is pretty cool. Like let's, let's install Git so we can go apk add git. And then we'd be able to git clone stuff onto our iPad. So it's just really fun and cool to play around with i know it's not a full desktop but having the terminal a lot of times all you really need on linux is the terminal if you want to be doing terminal work like ssh you can use nano you can use bash let's install nano after this so apk add nano so we can even edit files we can create files and yeah if you had like a magic keyboard, this would be a pretty nice desktop. I mean, cool. it would work. So let's go Nano. And here we are. We have Nano on our iPad. This is so cool. Like we can just type stuff, edit files. I'm not sure how you exit this thing though. Um. That's actually a good point because I don't have a control key right now. I'm not using a keyboard. I'm just using the touch thing. So that is a bit of a problem. I'm not sure. You'd probably have to look that up. But for now, we can just 
open and close it. But yeah, so you can install Nano, you can install like Figlet. So it can just repeat what we say. These things are just fun little terminal commands. But I'm just showcasing these little toys and stuff. But you can totally do a lot of Linux stuff that you want to do on here. So let's just go Figlet high viewers. There we go. So this is just like a normal Linux terminal. It's super awesome that you can do this from any iOS device, basically. I even have it on my iPhone. I actually posted it in my community post. And it, I have enjoyed playing around with this. It's, it's a cool project. Huge shout out to the developers who have developed such an amazing app. And I'd recommend you guys to check it out. If you have any iOS devices, you might enjoy it. And it's a pretty cool project. So, yeah. 